it's penguin day hello friends hi brenda and betty and connie and annette did they say betty mm -hmm. hi betty how are you guys doing oh we're doing great here today i don't know how much you can see behind me but margie's been cleaning the shop back there and oh it looks so good we can oh really my show. gosh hi connie this is the first time There's I've joined. Hat. Everyone's screen is still, <laughs> is still right. Everyone's screen is still right. Um, I don't know, Connie. Is your screen moving now? Huh? <laughs> Should hey, be Connie. moving now. <laughs> okay, everybody can see me and hear me. Okay. Yes. This no. is the first time she's joined. Oh, this is Maybe. the first time live that she. That yeah, Connie, it's good group. to see you there. Gotcha. Okay, so and that's got us. Good excellent, excellent, excellent. Oh, good. Okay. All righty then. Well, it's Penguin Day. We are. Yes, it came on with it. Okay, trying. perfect. There we go. Perfect. We are going to make such pretty cards today. Oh, I just love these. You know what? This is my fave. No, nope, wrong side. This is my fave right here. Look at that mountains and the penguins in front. That's my favorite. I love that one. I love them all, but that one, it just speaks to me. Something about that mountain. Hi, Betty McSorley. Uh, We're going to make six cards. So we are. Roberta joined too. Hello, Roberta. Hi, friend. Hey, Bob got his birthday present. He was so happy. Chocolate bars. <laughs> you couldn't have got Bob anything he would like better, Roberta. That was very sweet of you, hon. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, she bought him a selection of chocolate bars. His eyes lit up like Roman candles, I'm telling you. <laughs> you probably weren't here when I was telling the story the other night, Margie, about how um, I was trying to find out for Bob's birthday what his favorite food was. Uh -huh. I mean, I know some of the things he likes. He's lived here for, Chocolate you milkshake. know, <laughs> he's lived here for, what, a year and a half now. But um, I never asked him what his favorite was. Oh. So I thought, I'm going to ask him what his favorite is, and then we're going to do our best to get that for him for his birthday dinner. Mm -hmm. So I asked him, what's your favorite, Bob? And he said, Chocolate. And I laughed and I said, yeah, okay, chocolate. We all knew that. There's no surprise there. But what's your second favorite? And he said, chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> and he grinned. And I said, okay, chocolate is number one and number two. Do I dare speculate on your third favorite? And he said, chocolate. And then he just guffawed. He was so happy with himself. He just laughed and laughed. Hi, Mary R. Good to see you. So I was telling them this story and Roberta picked up on that and said he had chocolate bars for his birthday. But <laughs> uh, I did find out, though, after I pushed tonight, said, what's your favorite non-chocolate item? And I learned something and so did his son. <laughs> his favorite meal is pork chops. We didn't know that. We knew he liked fish. He liked salmon. That's probably one of his top favorites is salmon. And he likes halibut even better than salmon. But his favorite is pork chops. So we got pork chops for him for his birthday pork dinner. Chops. Pork chops was, with apples or pork chops in a barbecue? We actually did pork chops with a... Um, with a... Um, a, a gravy and rice. It was really good. Really good. Oh, I'm sitting here sorting my kit and not bothering to show you guys. I probably should show you <laughs> what's in your kit. <laughs> oh, you are out there. <laughs> Hi, guys. Let's work together, shall we? Okay. Betty is working with you tonight, she said. Yay. Okay. Here we go. We got the penguins. This is called family fun and we got the penguins with that absolutely spectacular holographic silver foiling on these now that holographic might be too much on some things but i'm telling you 
Uh, these nature cards, that holographic foiling and these snow scenes is just perfection. My mom likes pork chops too, Annette, but I was just surprised of all the things in the world that he could say, I would not have guessed that his favorite would be pork chops. Here's that one that makes up the card that I love so much. And here's our other one. Now look at the background in this card, guys. There is no reason why they had to make that whole sheet of cardstock so absolutely beautiful, but they sure did. So we got those three pieces of cardstock from our Hunky Dory kit. In addition, we're enclosing some beautiful teal ribbon that looks so pretty with that. You also have Al Mary R's working along too. Yay! He already stickled your toppers. That was smart, Betty Goslow. You are a smart woman. Here is the steel blue. Oh my gosh. This I don't know if it's called steel blue, French blue. This blue suede paper is part of your kit. I had to pet it because you have to you do have that to with suede paper. Time. You really do. Rub it on your cheek. <laughs> And then you have two beautiful pieces of cardstock to match our cards from the Adorable Scorable Collection. And then I'm trying to figure out why I have this in my, I had this in my package. I was supposed to remember something by putting this in here. I don't remember what I'm supposed to remember. It's beautiful. I just don't remember what it was. <laughs> Maybe, um... I don't know. It might come to me as I make cards. I'm going to set that aside. You have half a sheet of foam squares. I'm going to trade this out and grab me some that I've already started using because no sense in breaking another pack. And let's see, you have Brittany's little gift to you. I said you weren't getting them. Brittany said, Aunt Debbie, we need a few, at least a few snowflakes in there. So you kind of got an assortment. They won't necessarily match mine. But I told you you weren't getting any. So, hey, there you go. Brittany's gift to you. We also have five by seven cards in the 300 GSM. We have two five by sevens. We have one European A6. We have three, count them, three DL cards. So we're going to have six cards in this kit. And without further ado, let's get going because we have a lot to do today in two hours. So we're going to get right to it. I'm going to make some of these DLs first because actually the very first thing I'm going to do is what I did the other day. Let's see how this lays out on the paper, shall we? Let's do that first because... By seeing where we're using our cardstock, what we're using in our cardstock, we can kind of keep our cutting straight and, you know, not have confusion. So here is the first card. Maybe I should turn these around the other way so you could see them better. Ha ha, look at that. You're doing things upside down. She said that she would never do it upside down, guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Here is where we're taking this card from. Let's see what else we have here. This, and we have this one. So this, <laughs> I have to hold it upside down in order to get the line where it is, but it's coming from there. And this is coming from here. So we're going to use just every bit of this piece. And then we have this one, which is coming from here, right there. And this one is on an entirely separate sheet. Now, um, look at these beautiful trees you're going to have left over. Keep those for other center full, uh, you know, center step cards and other things where you might be able to use that tree scene because that's beautiful, but we're not actually going to use it today. In truth, I think these are the trees I may have used in the center step from the last card, although they turned out beautiful with the ones that we used. I actually think I may have used that scrap, but 
that's where we're going. How's that look? Look good? A minimum of confusion? Let's go. Let's go. Oh, I know what this is. I know what this is. I had Brittany put this in here because we want to make some cutout corners that have the pretty. That's what this is. This is not just a scrap. This is a magical corner maker. <laughs> okay. See, I told you I might figure it out as I went. All right. So um, Betty wants to know, is that five or six? Is what five or six? There's six cards in total. This is five. And this one I didn't lay out because I'm using adorable, scorable background. So five on here. Okay. And then we have the sixth card is not coming from that card stock. There we go. Okay. Andrea. Hi, Andrea. Good to see you, friend. <laughs> Always says... got to take time for your mom. It's like the law. It's the law. You must take time for your mother. So we forgive you. Okay, I'm going to start with this one. Why? Because I love it. And also because it's on the end of a piece of cardstock. I want to cut this out first before I use my other pieces of cards. So I'm going to use this cardstock piece. I'm going to use this absolutely beautiful piece of pink. I'm going to use, let's see, there's not much I have to bring into this one, really. I'm going to use my little packet because I have a let it snow on here. And that's it, I think. I better get the card out. The card itself would probably be relatively important, don't you suppose? <laughs> I'm still tired today. <laughs> So you're likely to have some general chaos in the broadcast today. That's okay, isn't it? Uh, sure it is. We're going back to having the giggles apparently today. Okay. Now, I have everything but tape. Uh, it's in the middle. There you go. Okie dokie. Margie, organize my desk area here. And clean it up. It's beautiful. All right, all right, all right. Let's get going. We're going to cover this card. We're going to put on our beautiful, adorable, scorable. I love this pink. And I'm not even a pink person, really. I'm not much of a pink person. It's just not my color palette of colors I can wear. I'm not a pink person either. But, yeah, Margie loves all things pink. Don't believe her for a minute. <laughs> Her colors are pink and kind of a tealy turquoise sort of color. Those are her colors. So guess what? This set is done in Margie's colors. Uh, the entire set is perfect. Okay. So I'm going to peel off my tape. Okay. I'm so glad you could join us live today, Connie. That's great fun. Great fun. All right. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put my pink card down here. I think I mentioned this before, but I'm going to mention it again. Several times we've talked about the fact that the craft style finger lift tape was a little bit more um, movable then was our um our finger lift tape from hunky dory i'm noticing that this last last batch in is stickier That's what you said. it has less ability to just pop it up and move it so don't count on that if it moves that's great but don't count on that now you will notice i do not have my customary scissors today the girl said you have these wonderful 
scissors downstairs. We want you to try them because you have quite a few of them and you always use your cheap scissors. So we want you to try these and see what you think. So here I am, I'm using my Tim Holtz scissors and you know, I don't like change. I don't know if I've ever shared that with you. I'm sure Bryce has because I'm really kind of a maniac about change in my life. I don't like it much. And I'm a creature of habit. So if I complain, it doesn't mean the scissors are bad. It just means that I have to try something a little different sometimes. But that said, I will give you an honest impression after I've used them for a batch of cards and tell you whether or not they're ones I would I would use and recommend. So here we are. Margie got me to change. Woohoo! Margie, that's an unusual thing it's not change is not easy for me i know what it is you were tired enough that you just don't have the arguing <laughs> i just don't have enough um, to argue huh? <laughs> okay before we cut our cardstock we're going to measure this and we're going to see how wide it is now this one is four inches right on and let's see how long it is it's four by eight and a quarter. So I'm going to cut my cardstock for my first cut anyway to three and three quarters by eight. I take the extra off the sky side since I got the baby penguins playing at the bottom. I don't want to get too close to them because they're adorable. So I did it three and three quarters by eight, and let's see how that works. I think I could use just an itty bitty tiny edge more off of the edge of my card. So I'm going to take just the slightest little bit less than an eighth of an inch more. I'm going to come up right next to my stars in this. If you're working along, you know exactly what I mean. I'm going to come up right next to my stars and take just a tiniest little bit more off. I didn't have that entirely straight. So I'm going to take a bit more off the top. That sounded really rough, didn't it? It's not my paper cutter being that rough. I was just pushing really hard because I was cutting a little tiny sliver. Now that I like. There we go. Now I got just the border I want. So... <laughs> <laughs> Biscuit stormed off and got in her bed. Huh? <laughs> Just woke up from a cat nap with Naughty Kitty. <laughs> Was Naughty Kitty lovable during your cat nap, Thelma? <laughs> it's my Tazzy cat. She's my naughty kitty, my version of naughty kitty. And <laughs> she, when she sleeps with me, she wants to sleep on my chest. It never lasts real long, but that's where she wants to be. She wants to be on my chest and she wants me to pet her in her own special way, right up around her chin and her whiskers and her ears. So, She'll just purr and snuggle in. And she does make you feel really um, zen <laughs> when you're petting that kitty. And she just purring like a motorboat. But it never lasts long because I'm a restless sleeper and I want to move. <laughs> Tea time. Tea time. As usual, you were in the chair having a cat nap. Okay. <laughs> Look from your cat nap with Naughty Kitty. <laughs> I love how you always call her Naughty Kitty. Never even 
her name. I know, I know you've told me your name a couple times, but I always remember it as Naughty Kitty because that's what you call her most of the time. Okay, I'm getting my my glue blotter, also known as a napkin, <laughs> and my great big nouveau pen because it's easy and I like it. And I'm going to put a little glue on the back of this. <laughs> That's so sweet. <laughs> okay. Any new news on Grandson Thelma? I don't think you were here for that either. Yes, she? Yes. Oh, you were here for that? Yeah. Okay. So you knew that he had been injured. Yeah. Okay. Any new news, love? Okay. Here we go. Get the, let it snow here, which becomes almost immediately tacky with that nouveau. I like that. I'm going to put it right up here at the top of my card. And other than my stickles, <laughs> this card is done. It's one of my favorites, but it just doesn't require a lot, you know? It just doesn't. Because the imagery is so beautiful to begin with. Let's get some stickers on there, though. <laughs> I have these two bottles that I've been nursing along. We just get every last drop out of them. And then I have one bottle that's got more in it. That's my more in it bottle. And these are my, I have to get just a little more out of them bottles. So let's start with this one. And I'm going to start up here, and I'm going to actually outline these mountains. So I'm going to start up here on this back peak. <laughs> it may be coming down to the end for this one. Uh, so I know on your screen, I'm on the camera, but that's not what's showing. So I don't think that people can see me. I think they see you. No, oh, they see you. They I see you. I know, but that's not a live stream for you. That's just okay. what is on this. Do you computer. guys see Margie or me? You. <laughs> Please say you. <laughs> I think it'd be great if you got to watch Margie, but I ha I have no idea how that happened. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> Biscuit wants to lay on your feet in the in the bathroom. Well. I have a yeah. cat who follows me into the bathroom every night. He loves to have his butt scratched. <laughs> and he follows me into the bathroom because he's kind of got a captive audience there. And he follows me in to get his butt scratched. And if I'm not prompt on the job, then he goes around and he opens the cupboard doors and lets them slam shut just to make noise because he knows that since I'm up when it, I think it's dead, guys. I think I've actually used the last of the stickles bottle. Okay, out that one goes. This one's pretty empty, too. We'll have to get you a couple more from downstairs. <laughs> uh, actually, uh, this is the last one of these. We got to get some. I have a bunch on order from. Yes, I'm uh, correct. They Peterson see you. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what button I pushed, but it's there. Yeah, he will let the doors just slam shut to make as much noise as he possibly can to convey his relative level of disgust at my abuse. <laughs> he just... And that's my good cat. <laughs> so you can see how the pets rule the roost around this household. That's the good one. I think this is added to you guys. I think I'm on to my, my new bottle now. 
I made that last, though, didn't I? We've been through several classes with those bottles sitting upside down and using the last of them. Plus all the, all the making of those originals. Okay. And I'm going to put a little bit of stickles in these major fissures and <laughs> slopes. They said put a ham around Teddy's neck and that would be a hoot. <laughs> Do what now? Uh, put a cam around Teddy's neck, and that would be a hoot. Oh, okay. Well, I'll tell you what we do have on Teddy's neck now. We do have a tracker now. So, when Teddy and his friend Bob go for a walk, and... do not return promptly, we can now spot them within feet of their current location on our Apple devices. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> Um, Ollie always goes to the bathroom with you. What is it about cats and their need to go to the bathroom with us? They just kind of feel, they like a captive audience, I think. <laughs> Fergie sees me get up from my chair in the living room and he darts to the bathroom just as fast as he can to make sure he gets in before the door closes. Okay, like I said, in these trees, guys, these are fairly close up. So what I like to do is kind of outline the branches and then put a little bit more where I see that the snow is heavier on the tree. So I have to kind of just follow the contours of the branches. And that gives just a really beautiful impression. That looks nice. Nice, nice. Looks like there's a branch that was pretty snowy but coming out there that I missed. I'll get that one. And now let's get this tree on this side. Be sure you start at one area and then work your way away from that so you're not reaching over your stickles. You'll only do that once if you get it in the wrong place and then have to clean it, keep cleaning it up. So what do you do when you smudge your snickle, your snickles? Your stickles. You have a Snickles. I, I do sort of have a Snickles. His name is Snicket. So, um, what do you do when you mess it up? Well, it's unadorable scoreable in this case. So, if you really mess up your stickles, take a damp cloth, wipe it off, dry it off, and put it on again. Because your adorable scoreable can handle that. So just a little tip from somebody who's done that <laughs> more times than I should probably admit to you. I'm going to put a little bit of sparkles right around their feet. I'm going to kind of outline that little blue area underneath them. I'm liking the way that looks. And one thing I did not do this time is I kind of have this frosty lake back here. I'm going to just squiggle lightly, just not putting a lot of material out. Just put a little light stuff right out there. What do you think, guys? I think we're good. How's that? Now you can see the lines a lot now because you can kind of see the dimension from where I put it on. But remember, our stickles is going to dry pretty flat. So you'll see the sparkle, but not necessarily the lines. <laughs> yeah, and Teddy antics, that's a good way to put it too. Boy, that dog is just... He'd be a menace if he wasn't so darn cute. 
well, he came in today and I had found the ball inside the netting and I was cleaning up. So I left the ball sitting here next to Debbie and Teddy came in and was all snuggles and loves. And then he started quickly moving away from the love and straight for the ball. He had totally figured out how to manipulate that situation. <laughs> Yeah, he came up just acting like, oh, mom, I haven't seen you in so long. I just need to be loved. Yeah. And I didn't even get one hug out of him before he was working his way past me to get to the ball on the table. <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> okay. Next one we're going to do. Let's do this one. We're going to take it from the end of our cardstock here. It will have to be cut down just a little. We have this purple edge at the bottom. That's where I took down my extra from. So it actually, it actually lays out to where my quarter inch is coming off the bottom. Let's get another of our DL cards that four by eight. I got everyone but the DLs. Okay. And let's cover that with our beautiful suede paper. Lots of times. French blue. Isn't that what that is? What's French, that? French, French blue, blue, I think. Yeah. It's kind of. Uh, a steely blue gray it's beautiful okay i'm gonna put this on here now i always get this question this paper's too beautiful to cover up so can i cut the middle out sure it doesn't matter if you um if you want to cut the middle out of it you certainly can i don't do it on the air because it takes too long but there's no reason why you couldn't cut a big wedge out of the middle of that and save that for die cutting and layering other pieces. There's no reason why you wouldn't be able to do that. For my purposes, I'm just using it for layering today. So Earl Grey and Lavender Tea. That sounds like mm, something Margie mm, would mm, like. Mm, mm, mm. That is my favorite. Is Especially that your favorite? With, like fog. Ooh. The London fog. Mm. Yeah. Which just basically means a little bit of cream. <laughs> he is a very active guy. <laughs> Several of you have asked me over time if that um, that video that we have online with Teddy playing with Fergus. Fergus is the butt scratch kitty, by the way. <laughs> um, that if that video of Fergie and Teddy playing, if Teddy is speeded up. No, he's not. That is the that is the speed at which Teddy roams. <laughs> he plays camera shy here, and he he moves a little a little um, slower on camera, but he is moving a mile a minute normally. Now, one of the things I'm finding with these Tim Holtz scissors is they have a beautiful cutting edge. They really do. They have a um, very lightly serrated and beautiful cutting edge on them. But I'm finding I don't want to cut clear to the tip. So there's my first impression of these. And the reason why you don't want to go. When it goes clear to the tip, it's like it tears right at the very, very point. I'm used to... Um, having my scissors more sharpened clear out to that point and the Tim Holtz scissors don't seem to be as sharp. Well, you can see they just are kind of blunted, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. they're not as sharp right at the tip as some of the scissors that I use. And so it kind of, you know, you just kind of get a blunt end there. Well, they say but that... if you keep your cutting yeah. edge in here, you're fine. They say that you have the most control if you put it all the way back in your blade anyway. Yeah. Okay. We have that beautiful paper on here. I had to stop and pet it. <laughs> I love that paper. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. 
Okay, we already know because we measured them, but let's just do it again. This is four inches. So I'm going to go to three and three quarters. I almost always end up taking a little bit extra off, but I'd rather start with three and three quarters and take a little more than to cut too much off. I already know it's eight and a quarter inches long, so I'm going to cut this to eight. I'm taking my extra little bit right off the bottom. And let's see how this lays out. It actually looks pretty darn good this time. I think I'm going to leave it. It is beautiful, although I do have that beautiful French blue under there. Maybe I should give it just, just a, just a little itty bitty tiny. I actually see a little dent in the corner of my card, on the edge of my cardstock there. I'm going to take that off and give this just a tad more of the blue showing, because it is really gorgeous paper. Okay. Oh, that's gorgeous. That's gorgeous. This is so pretty against that steely blue. Beautiful. If you don't have this kit in front of you, if you have it, you know exactly what I'm talking about because the colors are just fabulous matches. Okay. Twinings. Is that when you use twinings, T? Twinings? twinings? Um, <clears throat> uh, my Earl Grey that I have currently with the lavender is from Townsend's, which is a local tea company that makes and buys all their own oh, teas okay. um, and does their own process. So mine is from here local. Oh. Uh, but every... And there's about three different companies here in the Portland area that make their own tea. Mm. Um, there's also, uh, I don't want to misspeak, so it's something Pearl, but I can't remember the name of that. Anyways, there's three very uh, large companies here locally that yep. make uh, tea so that you can go into the store to purchase. There aren't many that are on the shelf. Okay. Um, what is my is our box of specialty over there? I was trying to describe that the other oh, day, yeah. and I wanted to tell them what this was. Margie is a major tea drinker, and so this is one that I get for when we both need to just wind down a little bit, and we have the we have a cup or two. You can usually get two cups out of this. We have a cup or two of this Marie Antoinette from Nina's of Paris. I know, doesn't it sound foofy? It but, is foofy. <laughs> Mar uh, Margie first had this in Europe, right? Didn't you uh, first no, have this? You someone, had it here? Someone that came from, that went to visit Paris brought it to me and said, I know okay. you will love this. Okay. And she found it for me. It actually comes from the fruit trees and the tea um comes and is made from a recipe that was specifically made as a tea mix for Marie Antoinette okay and they get it directly from the ground so sometimes when we need just a little Special. um a little bit of self-care <laughs> we get out the Marie Antoinette tea we haven't had any of that in a long time Margie I know and of all the times needing <laughs> self-care this last week has been a time we should have had some of that really I'm gonna say the last three weeks we've been busy <laughs> oh my gosh we have pushed it to the max haven't we all right so I'm gonna put my let it snow on here you should have two in your little pocket and then I'm going to use one of Brittany's little snowflakes. I didn't get my snowflake on the last card. I only have three in this packet, but I do have spares I have cut. You might have to cut a few of your own spare snowflakes because Brittany never guaranteed there would be enough to do all of your cards. She just guaranteed she was going to give you a few because <laughs> it was her need to ensure that they were included. 
Oh, fun. It's fun when your papers match perfectly, isn't it? That's one of the advantages you guys get with the card kits here is that I have so many papers to match to here that you end up getting really fun matches for your papers. And you tend to get papers you might not have tried before, which is one of my goals actually to kind of expose you to a variety of different kinds of papers and let Please you try them without that. having to buy a whole pack, huh? Please don't tell her that you love that, that she does this, because if you do, I have to find the space for it. <laughs> <laughs> Margie's been spending the day today trying to reorganize this the craft room, and one of the jobs that she had was trying to fit all the paper on the shelves in a manner that would allow us to be able to retrieve paper in a more efficient way. And um, yeah, I have a lot of shelves for paper and they're all full. <laughs> when we get it all done and it looks really beautiful, then I'll show it to you. I won't show it to you while it's still a work in process because it doesn't show as well as it should yet, but it's going to. And when we get it all done, I'll show it to you because it's really going to be quite beautiful in here. We should have tea time and chocolate at the party. Let's do it. Let's make a note of that, Margie. We're going to have tea time okay. and chocolate at the party. Okay. We're not having chocolate shots this time. No, oh. we can't. It was made us sick. <laughs> <laughs> but we, I do have a different one in mind. I have a different shot in mind. And it's not alcohol. <laughs> that, that, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not big, big whole hunks of chocolate either. It's much more moderate. Okay, here's our card without the stickles. Here's our card. So you guys get your favorite tea ready on the day of the party, you know, have everything ready to go. So that at tea time, we'll tell you when it's time to turn your teapots on, and then we'll all have tea together. We are having a meeting of the minds tomorrow, working on party planning tomorrow. Yes. Evening. If, in fact, this is a good time to ask you what, I'm going to wait and do the stickles on these later because I'm a little nervous that we still have four cards left to do. And it's a Thursday, so I'm going to get you out of here a little bit earlier. So I'm going to hold on my stickles work, but you can see the stickles on our sample cards. So let me hold up the sample card again and show you what I did. I did stickles on the mountains, just outlining the mountains. I did nice stickles on that big old tree and a little bit around their feet. Okay, so we are going to we are going to plan for tea time. I also want you guys to tell us some of your favorite things from the original party so that we can be sure and replicate the things that you enjoyed the most. So tell us some of the things you liked the most from our first party so we don't omit anything that you would like. While you do that, while you're thinking on that, we're going to start our next card. I'm taking this piece of cardstock, this piece, I'm taking one of my five by seven cards. Spin the wheel. Okay, we got um, we're gonna need to make a list, Margie. We got tea time and we got spin the wheel. Uh, you have I a can, choice. I can write these down or I can right. look at chat. <laughs> okay, you look at chat and I'll write them down later. Okay. She'll do it. Oh, oh Brittany's gonna write them down. They want to spin the wheel and they want tea time. And we need to be sure and schedule time to turn the teapot on so we can all have tea time at the same time. They want tea and chocolates. Time. Because right now I'm peeling stickers for some new goodies. Yes. Maybe we'll show them those. What okay. do you think? I would. So, oh, the gift cool. certificate. Oh, yeah. Annette said, I so loved winning this, the gift certificate on the wheel. Okay. So, spin the wheel. We're definitely doing that. I think everybody, I, um, 
I think everybody liked the shots game. It caused a lot of laughter. So I think we'll probably have candy shots again, but it's going to be a different candy shot. He's going to say, um... <laughs> and we don't want to be in a sugar coma this time. So candy shots, we'll have that. Guess the word that caused the shot. Then you two get a, could win a prize. Um, purple light specials, Betty says. Got to have those. Ladies and gentlemen, there's a purple light special on aisle three. Aisle three, a purple light special. Yep, got to have those. Okay, purple light specials. What else? You think of other things that you love that you don't want to see missed? How long you guys want to go for the party? Let's talk about that. We'll oh, probably... I recall them saying that they could go for a really long time. <laughs> <laughs> and I recall that, the, that it was, I, we were really tired. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I put my card on. I put my card on where I'm picking up that beautiful purple border at the bottom. Okay. I'm going to cut it out now. I loved it all forever. <laughs> Trivia for prize. Forever. Okay. <laughs> Trivia. Um, okay. Roberta likes trivia. <laughs> what did you guys think of the, um, of the, um, 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 the drawing on the board one, the um, password. We did password. Didn't we do password? Yeah, it was something along those lines. Pictionary. Pictionary. There we go. We did Pictionary at least two to three hours, I said. And the demos, okay? Brittany left, and she's not done writing down. <laughs> I'm sure she can catch it. Okay. So demos, Pictionary, at least two or three hours, yeah. Okay. They're adding demos and Pictionary to our list. And a trivia. Did you get trivia? I like that idea. Trivia is fun. Uh, demos. And demos. Yeah, and then Pictionary. I have some fun craft hacks that I've been saving for the demos. She now in to run. Well, because she took off and ran while she was making the list. Oh, <laughs> she knew when to run. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. <laughs> oh, is that what I'm supposed to do, Roberta? I just need to go run. No, okay? <laughs> you can run, but you can't hide. <laughs> okay. We're going to use this topper. I have just started doing it. This great big topper, the biggest one on your sheet. It breaks into three parts. No, it's not the biggest one on your sheet either. I'm messing up. Stop. Go back. It's this one. It's this one. <laughs> Debbie will find you. That is correct. <laughs> she can run, but she can't hide. She knows where I live. I know where she lives. I know an awful lot about where to look for her. <laughs> yep, I'd find her. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm sorry. We wanted the square topper, not the biggest one. So let's get this one out. We're, gonna, we're still going to break it into three pieces, though. We're kind of all over the place today. That's okay. <laughs> It's fun when we're all over the place. Yeah, I'm thinking we should probably target maybe three hours. And what do you guys think about a start time? Uh, they've been asking me the start time, and I've been avoiding that question because I didn't. We didn't have that discussion. But um, 
it, it'll get too late for them if we yeah. if we do three three and a half hours it'll get too late for them if we don't start start. at noon or one that day i feel like we started earlier than we would how long was our party last time uh i'm not positive i want to say that it was close to three hours i remember can you look that up for me in the videos Brittany? Brittany's going to look up and see how long we ran last time it seemed to be about the right amount of time anything longer would have resulted in Margie and I uh, falling to the floor in exhaustion. I think we should stop a little earlier than exhaustion point. That would have been the chocolate high. That, that is true. Brittany says that was probably the chocolate high. <laughs> okay blue bottle out here i will work on the thinking cap actually i already have some thoughts okay we went for four hours we went four hours last time and when did we start it does it say does it say i don't i'm not sure i don't know if it tells us what time we start okay so if we started at how about we start at one that's a nice civil hour and we plan to go until 4 30. that gives us a half hour buffer if needed and we will not go over four hours because like i said one more five minute break and Margie and I would have been on the floor in exhaustion, <laughs> but we did have an awfully good time. So we'll plan three and a half hours, one to 4.30. How does that sound? The 26th is our date. Sunday, the 26th of September is our date for our party. You guys can tell I still didn't fix my blue bottle. I've been busy. So instead, I just come on camera and complain about it every day that I have not fixed it. Maybe we should rectify that. Okay. So I'm getting ready to glue my frame down. My first frame is going to glue starting. I want it to be about, I want the little dip to just show the purple. I'll show you what I mean by that. That's a little dip in the bottom to show the purple. And it just about like that, because I'd really like that upper part to show too. That's beautiful. But I'm going to cover up most of the just plain snow with my topper. Uh, Annette. Our 1 p.m. is 1 p.m. Pacific. So if you are on Central Time, that would put you at 3. Are you on Central Time? Uh, Mary R. says Eastern Time from 4 to 7.30. Sounds good. Roberta says all day and night as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next, I'm going to take the center ring that I popped out. I'm going to put a fine glue line, as fine as I can make it. I'm going to put a fine glue line around that. Oh, this glue bottle heard me talking about working it over, and now all of a sudden it's decided it wants to work. She's Eastern, and that says. Oh, you're Eastern time, so that's going to be five or four yeah um it'll be 4 p.m your time because there's three hours time difference between us and eastern okay now when you do this one we're dealing with some odd shapes here so i want to show you what i'm doing here i'm turning this on an angle
and I'm centering it left to right and top and bottom. Your sides will barely come over your original topper. Your top and bottom will come down into that wider area here. See that? You did that so pretty. Okay. All right. Is four too late for you guys to start? Let me, let me just ask you that. Is that too late for you guys to start or does that give you guys time to have an early dinner and That'd be 4 to 7.30 in our projected time frame, and we could conceivably go as much as 8. Okay. Let's do some foam squares. Okay. All right. So it sounds like everybody's on for that. So we're starting at... Well, okay, good. Everybody's on for that. So we're going to start at 1 p.m. our time. We're going to go for sure until 4.30 our time, which is three and a half hours. And we're going to leave ourselves a half hour buffer to wrap things up as necessary. So... We will go from 1 to 4.30, and it might run as late as 5. So for you guys on the East Coast, that would be 1 to, excuse me, it'd be 4 to 7.30, and maybe as late as 8. Okay. Well, I hope it works out for you, Betty. I don't think, I think we're going to plan on not, because with Margie and I will have a lot to do to get ready for the party, and I'll have a lot I need to do on that Saturday. Um, I think we will not have class that day on the, the preceding Saturday, on the 25th. I think we'll skip the 25th, and we'll do our event on the 26th instead, if that's good with everybody. Okay, I put my center topper with my actual penguins on some foam squares and put that in the middle. That turned out pretty. Look at that. That's beautiful. It's beautiful even before we get the stickles on it. And it's going to be even more beautiful when we get it stickled. Let me show you our sample so you can see it with the sparkles on it. Look at those trees. Let me get those trees all involved. Isn't that beautiful? So there's our sample that has the trees stickled. I'm going to put some glue on the back of my snowflake. Put my snowflake up there. Okay. All right. You're frozen in your little picture thing on mine. It shows black on yours, but it's okay. just an FYI. What? You're fine? Did you see something you like? Oh, they came in. Yeah, they're really cute. Oh, our stuff for our Halloween cards came in. And do we have the um, Halloween greetings in then? Okay, the box with that had um, Roberta, the box that we've been waiting for from the Netherlands has arrived, and assuming it has everything that we ordered, we should have your peel stickers soon, up soon, your Halloween ones. So we'll be watching for those. I'm going to... 
They can still see me, right? Yeah. Okay. It's fine. It's I'm fine. going to set this one aside. Let me give you one last look at this one before I put it away. I haven't stickled our new one yet. There we go. And we're going to move to card number four. And I think that we will start with let's do our DL card next. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, let's do our DL card next. Now notice on our DL card. Say hi to Diane. Hi, Diane. Welcome. Thank you, Mary R. Okay, we're going to do our next DL card. This is the one that we're going to do. Now, notice that there's no mirror board in here, and this, um, this um, layering sheet, our adorable scorable, goes right against our card, but we also have ribbon wrapped around it. So... We'll have to do something we don't often do, and that is that we're going to have to cut our cardstock to fit first, check our fit, add our ribbons, and then we will put it on. Okay? Okay. I'll let you order them yourself, Roberto, as soon as we get them up. I just wanted to let you know that they're coming and um, watch the new listings. And Grit will put them up when she will push them out to the store when she gets done so that you can get those, okay? But we do have, they should be here, I would presume, as long as they didn't make any fulfillment errors. Okay. So the cardstock I'm cutting off of here, guys, is going to be four inches wide. And I'm going to have to make it the full width. I will make it the full width of my adorable scoreable, which my card is going to be a little bit longer than my adorable scoreable is. That's normal. There's nothing wrong. You're just going to trim your card a little bit because my adorable scoreable is going to be eight inches. So I'm going to trim my card down to eight inches. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just how we're using our supplies. I'm going to hold this up and make sure this is going to be a perfect fit, and it is. And I'm going to cut myself a four-inch strip now of this one with my blue to the side. Connie wanted to know if on card number three, did you stick the word threes on the topper or only on the background? Good question. Let's look. Um, I did not stickle them on this card, but I should have. I would recommend you stickle them on the topper. Yes. You can't have too much glitter on these cards. <laughs> They're sparkly. It's even in the title. <laughs> oh, Roberta says she's looking for the heart with the Marianne Snowflake too, and she couldn't find it. Yeah, I noticed that it wasn't in there, so that was one of the things on my it list. Is on it is on there. It's just back further because I already had it. it it's yeah. not in the very top. Okay. And it's not in the it Brits Bargains. A weird picture. Oh, well, then that's it's good to know. A couple people have had trouble finding that, that same die, Roberta. I will do, I haven't been doing the, I've been kind of remiss in not doing the newsletters following our um, card making. I'll do a car, I'll do a Roberta. I will do a Roberta. I will do a newsletter tonight <laughs> and I will link that die so you can find it. Okay. Let's do that. And the number, if you want to look for it by the number, is CR1225. Put those numbers in parentheses or in um, quotation marks 
and it will bring up just that die for you. Do open quotation CR1225 close quotation and it will bring up just that die for you. Okay. But I can do a newsletter if you guys are still having trouble finding it. Or you can just link it here, Margie. Why don't we do that? Can you mark can you link it here? Uh yes. I was just looking to see if it was in the September new listings, and I'm not seeing it in there. That's why I was originally looking for it myself. So, yeah. Um, uh, let's bring let's it up. Take a peek. CR1225, and, oops, see, I, I have to focus on what I'm doing. Okay, we've got our card cut. Now, let's take our ribbon. We need a bow maker. I'm going to use my pink one because it's sitting here. I'm going to leave a little bit of room because, see, I've got to wrap this. Close my glue so it will continue to behave. I'm going to wrap this ribbon around my card. So I want to allow myself some room to be able to wrap that over. I'm going to start my bow then with probably a six inch piece hanging off the end of my bow maker. I'm going to tie a four, five, four. You finding it okay? Yeah. It has a funny picture. I use the manufacturer's picture. It, it doesn't, it's, it's a funny looking thing. Um, you're the, uh, second customer in just the last few minutes that's asked about that, Roberta. So clearly we, it was not easy to find. And it's not in that section of new. So I don't know why it's not showing up there, but you should It's be able not to showing find up it. there because it was a relist product. I had it before. Gotcha. So guys, it's not going to be under the new listings, but you can find it under this code and this link. Um, or just look up Marianne Designs and it will show a picture of three size hearts and snowflakes. So even if you type in three hearts and snowflake, Marianne, you should be able to pull it up. Okay. Search. Or just click that link she just or gave you. click the link. <laughs> just click the link. And um, so I'm not going to probably, I actually, I don't know. I don't know whether I'll do a newsletter or not. I haven't decided whether the newsletters after the videos are useful. Maybe you guys can give me some feedback on that. I haven't had any feedback that people were missing them. I've had to choose how I've used my time here this week because it's been a kind of crazy time. Okay, so I've got my bow done. I'm going to, I don't need quite as much room as I left for my, for my bow. So I'm going to clip off the ends of these, but don't throw these away. I'm going to take my hunky dory finger lift tape because it's narrower. Mama says she likes the newsletter after the videos. Do you do like it after the videos? I'm going to run my tape down this ribbon. What would happen if we streamlined it a little bit? Maybe just send the the video links and any updates from the video. Yeah. One of the things well, I know that people it. tend to like is the supplies list. You like them yeah. afterwards. Hi, Mary G. Good to see you. Okay. I'll think on it, guys, and we'll come up with a, a plan. Okay. So I've got my, the only concern I have here is that my ribbon is not straight on my tape. And sometimes that causes me to get a little glitchy when I 
go to put my ribbon on, but I'm going to try it. And I'm just going to pull that out hard and see if I can pull that ribbon straight, despite the fact that my, yeah, I think it's going to work okay, despite the fact that my tape wasn't really very straight there. I'm taking the paper off of my ribbon by t tearing the tape behind the bow and pinching the tape down so that it will be, it will stay behind the bow and not be sticky around the bow. I'm going to identify where I want this to go. And I want to be about three quarters of an inch down. So I'm going to put it about right there. I'm going to take my extra pieces of ribbon and wrap around the back of my card. Now I've got these little pieces of ribbon left. And I think they might be big enough for my corners. Let's see if they are. Someone's got a good point that it gives them the opportunity to you list it, new products, and then they can think about it. Okay. In, instead of having to watch the video all over again. Okay. All right. That skinny tape is good for this purpose. It is. Okay. I have my little piece of ribbon here. I'm going to put that ribbon right to the corner of my cardstock, just like that, so that the edge. The point of my cardstock is right on that ribbon. And then I'm going to fold this tape back. And I create a pretty little satin corner. OK, let's do another. Just a nice way to use up the little pieces and add just one more touch. One more touch that said I was here. <laughs> Andrea said that she likes getting the newsletters after, but she does realize that sometimes we need to let things go. She says, I miss Wednesday nights a lot, but I can always watch the video later. And then it looks like Mary G just joined us. Hi. Say hi to Mary G. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's do, wrap this around, wrap this around. Yeah, the Wednesday night newsletters I've been doing pretty religiously, and they've actually been coming out on Wednesday or early Thursday morning. So those are coming out. The only ones I haven't been doing have been the ones after classes where I've been sending the video links. And maybe I just need to get my butt in gear and try that again. Maybe I can streamline it a little bit, though, and save a little bit of time. I spend an awful lot of time writing the newsletters, and maybe there's a way to. It takes time. Huh? It definitely takes time. It does. <laughs> 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 okay oh yeah the new stuff i always put the news i always do the what's new wednesday newsletter i do that sometimes you get it on thursday or even friday if i'm really busy but most of the time you get that lately i've been trying to be better and get that out timely so I will not do away with your What's New Wednesday so you can have the links. Surprise! <laughs> Had a box fall over in here. Nothing terrible's <laughs> happened. Meteor did not come through the roof. It just was a box falling over. My came out. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't stop them after class. Okay. <laughs> I think I've been, I think I've had my marching instructions. I pretty much heard from just about everybody on the video now. Uh, we want our newsletters. <laughs> okay, I got it. I heard you loud and clear. 
Okay. So Margie found something that I'm going to surprise you with at the end of the video. I do not have them up yet, but Margie found something I want to share with you. Because clearly, clearly you liked what we showed you before. So there's a little teaser for you. Okay, this time I'm going to, we have our card base is done. Isn't that pretty with the four little satin corners on it? I love that. I like it. So we are going to, we're going to go ahead and let's just put this card base down on here. So let's get some finger lift tape. I'm going to go straight to my card, I think. I'm just going to have to be careful placing it because I really have to match all of the sides this time. Okay. I saved the newsletters and the links, says Mary R. Okay. All right. So does Brenda, so does Roberta. <laughs> okay. We will do it. I will do it. Okay. Get this on here nice and straight. I'm using my fingers to guide it to the top and the bottom. Darn it. I still. All right. It's just a tiny bit I'm off. I'm going to trim this with my scissors, but I have to be really careful not to catch my ribbon when I trim this. So. Because I got just a little bit off, but that's better. I don't think I'm going to go in any closer than that. I'll deal with the tiny, tiniest bit of white there, as opposed to risking that I cut my ribbon. All right. We have, we need three toppers off our sheet. We need this penguin in the lower left. We need the Enjoy a Fun-Filled Family Christmas. And we need the little penguin standing there by himself. We're going to lift our bow just a, ever so gently. Brenda says that she has emails from you back in 2014. Wow. <laughs> you know, I was looking at it the other day. We went on to constant contact in 2006, and I actually have a couple of customers who have been receiving their emails since 2006. Still receiving emails. That's pretty cool. That's a lot of years. That is. That's what, 15 years they've been receiving your email? That's amazing. Okay, I'm lifting my bow just a little bit. And I'm sliding my tag up under it. Because I think it looks really cute that way. And now... These can actually do, just attach directly below the ribbon. But then just for fun, and I don't know if you'll have this many snowflakes in your kit. You may have to cut some auxiliaries, but I'm going to take a little snowflake and put at the top there to make it look like it's attaching the tag to the ribbon. Just an FYI, you are at. Five point. Oh, we're doing great. And we have two left. The little picture. Both of them are fairly them. easy. I think our camera is freezing up, so bear with me, guys. Let me check it again. It's um, frozen down there. I am. Do you have a direct connection on your computer right now? To the. You don't have it. You don't have it plugged in, do you? Okay. 
And okay. we are plugged in. And we are plugged in. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think it's I'm just the camera. I'm wondering when I turn it if off turn the it combination on. of Alejandro working downstairs mm-hmm. on his and Grace working Bryce on his. May, we may have to and tell. <laughs> We may have to tell Alejandro when he has to stay off at class time. You're back to moving again. Oh, it still pulls up a little bit. Hi, Ruthann. I decided I wanted this tag a little bit closer. I was able to pull it up. Oh, it's still a little bit off, but it's fine. I'm going to take snowflakes now i'm probably going to have to get some from my spares kit that's okay you can cut a few extra snowflakes for this just use some silver mirror board rainbow if you have it the silver will work fine too and it actually is a silver there i'm going to Put, I just think it's a fun touch. You don't have to have to do this. I just think it's a fun touch to do this. I need a little pokey tool. A little pokey tool in here. Oh, I can use these. Okay. There we go. I'm going to take these snowflakes Sorry, I was counting. and put them right here at the tops of these tags to make it look like they're connectors. <laughs> oh, your adoptive dog isn't letting you eat the tomatoes. I told you guys the frosty story, right? I used to have a dog that ate my tomatoes off the plant. I had beautiful beefsteak tomatoes. Now, we live in Oregon, Washington, you know. I was in Washington at the time, but it was just across the bridge from where I live now. And I was growing beefsteak tomatoes. That's a long growing season for a tomato in this part of the country because we just don't have a long growing season you know but i was growing me some beefsteak tomatoes and they were big and beautiful and full and i was watching them every day when i came home from work waiting for the perfect just perfection you know i came home one day looked at them and i thought one more day one more day will be perfect I was planning what I was going to do with my tomatoes. I was thinking recipes and sandwiches, and I was ready to go. I had two big, beautiful beefsteak tomatoes. I mean, big ones in my my patio planters. And I got home from work and found out that my little dog, I had an American Eskimo at the time, ate them while I was gone at work. She harvested. I know it was her because she ate all of one. Those tomatoes were like this big. They were big, beautiful tomatoes. She ate all of one and half of the other one. (laughs) I was so mad at that dog. Oh, my gosh. She had a discriminating palate, though. She, too, was watching them for the for the perfectly ripe tomatoes. There we go. How beautiful is that? Which days are we shipping Etsy orders? Um, I set my shipping settings in Etsy that we have two-day fulfillment. So we're shipping Etsy orders daily. The only day we will not ship we we won't ship probably on saturday sunday but otherwise we're shipping every day um orders as always usually leave our warehouse the next day but sometimes it takes two days just because of you know we sometimes have a lot of orders and we never 
And up to a week after a party, let me just remind you guys, it's at least a week after a party. <laughs> okay, says so <it's> Margie. <laughs> Brittany laughs too because it was very busy that week. It was. It was, especially with the, I don't know, because everybody bought in sections and we'll probably do that again. Um, I think it was a mix free shipping. between that and the fact that we were on Black Friday. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was so Black Friday it was weekend, like a wasn't whammy. it? Yeah. Yes, it was. And it, well, this one will be easier in that respect. It won't be Black yes. Friday. But anyway, yeah. Um, we had hundreds of orders, <laughs> hundreds, a lot of them condensed down because we were, okay, we went from doing one card, but we had to get the measurements exact because we are, because we were wrapping ribbon around to another one. <laughs> so let's, um, measure this card. We'll cut our card stock. This is four and one eighth by five and seven eighths. Ruthann said he tried a jalapeno. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. That's very funny. Okay, here we go. This is my side of my card. So I'm going to cut this to Five and seven eighths by four, and it's actually just a tad over an eighth, so I don't want to cut it too small. Let's check this against our card that we just measured, which is over there. And that's a perfect fit. That is good. <laughs> Well, he deserved it. He deserved it. A little jalapeno breath after eating your tomatoes. <laughs> pets, the things we do for our pets. Adeline joined us to stop by and say hi. Hi, Adeline. Phone is charging, so we'll be on TV on her feed. So you won't be able to chat with us, but you will know you're there. Thank you. Okay. I am going to leave. Now, see, this doesn't require a real long piece to wrap that corner with the bow is. We're not doing this in one piece. We're actually doing this in two, even though it looks like one. We're going to leave a short piece. We don't need a great big long piece for this wrap around. I'm going to do a four, five, four again. Going around peg number four, coming over to the other side, doing peg number four, come back to number five, number five, come back to number four, number four. Debbie, quit buying cute things. Down through the say. hole. <laughs> Margie's scolding me over there for buying cute things. <laughs> <coughs> Okay, coming back up from the other side, tie it off. Okay. What are you guys finding that's beautiful in there? You guys are ooing and eyeing. What are you finding? Oh, let's show the people so that they, you can get a sneak preview since we're all ooing and eyeing over things here. Let's show them what we're talking about. They're not in the store yet. They're not in the store yet, but they're going to show you what they're ooing and eyeing over over there. You guys want to see that? I think you guys probably want to see that. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay. Not in the store yet. These are not in the store yet, but. That's 
this is what they're ooing and eyeing about. This is new 3D toppers. There's a poinsettia, sparkly poinsettia. Here is a lantern. Now, the, of course, these are not assembled yet, so. The lantern. I have the poinsettia pad. She's absolutely right. I know. Look at that. Beautiful. But why didn't I take this out for her to find? <laughs> uh, she said that they'll go great with last year's Hunky Dory poinsettia. <laughs> was that, and Ned said, was that a question? Hello, have you met us? <laughs> Another one in front of a lantern. Again, these are not assembled yet. So, you know, some of them don't look quite like they're going to. This one's got a wood round with a bell and poinsettias. <laughs> no, stop. I have no willpower. Poinsettias with candles. White poinsettia with mistletoe. Oh, this is nice. The poinsettia is with the old stopwatch. Oh, my gosh. Maybe. Here's what Brittany was doing and eyeing over, no doubt. Here is a snowman. I just dropped his hat over his face, but the snowman with poinsettias. This was what one of the things that they were ooing and eyeing over over there. And Margie's saying, Debbie, important. stop buying such cute stuff. <laughs> You cost me an arm and a leg. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got a perfectly good other arm and an other leg. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, and that said, uh, I just found last year's quick. Uh, and um, I think Andrea said, and I don't want to misquote here, but I think that Andrea said, uh, you bought a lot of them, right? <laughs> This one is called Fall. Look at this. The wagon. Oh, and if we didn't tell you, there's a lot of other pretty ones, too. Oh. <laughs> a watering can. Oh, I got a bunch of them this time, because we don't order from Holland all that often for this company. Sunflowers. Yes, the, oh, this is cute. Hedgehogs with fruit in front of them. So cute. Oh my gosh, pumpkins, whoops. Again, these are not assembled, guys, so they don't look as pretty in the packages as they really are going to be. But I had to show you what they were doing and I over. Look at that, hedgy on the mushroom. Oh my gosh. <laughs> How much are they going to be? <laughs> um, what, they're usually how much? Eight ninety nine for ten for the pack of. Oh, okay. We have to talk about it yet because we have to look at the pricing. Brittany doesn't know yet, so I will. You know, they will be reasonably priced, especially when you consider you get ten completed toppers out of a set of these. So this was the fall set. That was the sunflower set. Or excuse me, the poinsettia set. Let's get back to making our cards now. I just wanted to show you what they were doing and eyeing over. Okay. <laughs> Diane says, so oh, stinking cute. <laughs> um, yeah, we have um I did order quite a few as I recall, though. Didn't I get pretty good? Variety and quantity. Large variety. A lot of them there are six. Okay. We got a large variety. And a lot of them we have six. Some of them we have more. So. <clears throat> Uh-oh. I got that tape all cattywampus. Let's try that again. Oh, well, and now it's going to come off. Okay. Well, what do you do when this happens? You fix it. You don't get terribly upset about it. You just fix it. Sometimes you can pull the tape off, which is what just happened. And let's just lay the tape in again. That worked well. Other times you have to wrap the tape up under it. But 
Well, that's my job, Toria. <laughs> I live to tempt you. You know this. You know this of me. <laughs> that's like telling the fox to stay out of the hen house. You know, he lives to get into the hen house. I live to tempt you. It's what I must do. It's my nature. Okay. All right, let's try this again. Wow, I really scuffed up that ribbon last time, but I got it fixed. Okay, I got my tape down. <laughs> I hear the Rocky theme coming into play when you distribute those sets. <laughs> I'm going to get their boxing gloves on. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> what have we done, ladies? <laughs> okay, I still have a little tape. Even though I re put the tape on, I still had a little showing. So I just took my thumb and just pushed it back up under onto, onto the back of the tape. It's no big deal. Get that in the right place. Pretty much. There we go. I think I like that better. Okay. Wrapping it around the back of my card. Trimming off the extra. These Tim Holtz scissors are pretty are pretty sharp. I am liking that. They are plenty sharp for the job. Okay, I need another piece of ribbon. And I'm going to do a better job of laying my tape over it this time. I'm determined. I only need a short piece. So I'm going to cut that there. I have this little piece of ribbon left. Do I throw it away? Heck no, that's corners. <laughs> Okay, we're going to peel this. This actually could have been significantly shorter, but I got a little carried away in my length. And lay this across the bottom of my card at a similar angle to the top. I'm going to wrap this around the back, wrap this around the back, and then we have that pretty bow treatment on our card. That looks great, doesn't it? Now we're going to get our Happy Christmas from all of us. We're going to pop that into the center. We also need a snowflake. Since snowflakes are my signature on these cards, I'll need to put one on each. Thank you, Brittany, again, <laughs> for cutting all those snowflakes. She's a pretty good girl. We try not to tell her because she might want to race, but <laughs> she's a pretty good girl. I appreciate Brittany around here. With her soft voice, she keeps us all in line pretty well. <laughs> she tries very hard to control her auntie. Sometimes it works. Sometimes not so much. More not so much. <laughs> she said more often not so much. <laughs> so she was telling me that I overwhelmed my sister. So I think I've told her before that my sister's a Head Start teacher, early Head Start teacher. And one of the things she wanted to do with her class was do scrapbooking. Well, the last time she told me she was doing scrapbooking, I sent her paper. I sent her um, 10 boxes of paper. <laughs> Big, solid, 10 boxes of paper. So Gail told me when I called her and said, do you want some of this stuff I'm purging from the pod and from the garage? She said, yes, but I don't want 10 boxes of paper. <laughs> She should have been more specific. <laughs> I 
she didn't stop at saying she didn't want 10 boxes. She said she didn't want 10 boxes of paper. I didn't send 10 boxes of paper, did I, Brittany? No. <laughs> but I did send an entire car load in Brittany's car. <laughs> we couldn't have got one more box in there if we tried. There were not 10 boxes of paper in there. <laughs> no, just... um, yeah. <laughs> She was doing pretty well until Brittany was getting ready to leave. And Brittany's dad, because Brittany lives a ways from there, and um, she was just, you know, playing delivery person and dropping it off to her mom. And Brittany's dad kindly went out and emptied the car and brought in everything that was left. Um, then she got a little overwhelmed. <laughs> by the sheer volume of it all um yeah but i still stand on innocence that she just said I don't, don't send me 10 boxes of paper <laughs> <laughs> i didn't send 10 boxes of paper I knew that when we started on Monday, we had barely gotten through a whole section of the pod, and I left on Monday last week, and you still had lots to go, and I think she already had six or seven boxes to go. <laughs> I knew. Uh, <laughs> yep. But you know what? It, it will all get used wonderfully. It actually will all get used wonderfully. Gail was talking. Gail's my sister. She was talking to her boss, expressing her overwhelmedness. Is that a word? <laughs> it is now. It is now, yes. <laughs> and her boss said, oh, well, I have a plan for the rest of it. So you take what you want and then we'll come get the rest. And then Gail was less overwhelmed as I understand it. So... It's going to be wonderfully used in the Head Start program. I'm confident of that. And the teachers will be delighted. They will have so many, so many wonderful things. So anyway, I didn't send 10 boxes of paper, though. Nope, I didn't. <laughs> I have to tell you, though, the last time when I sent her 10 boxes of paper, she had to sleep with them in her bedroom because she had nowhere yeah, else to put them. <laughs> That's what she told me I couldn't do. So maybe there was a hint she didn't want more than 10 boxes <laughs> of general stuff. But it was not 10 boxes of paper. Come on, I'm telling you. You're just you. sticking with that, aren't you? <laughs> it's my only defense, and I'm sticking with it. <laughs> well, I will say that um, in my time as an early Head Start teacher, I I used to spend my own money buying things for families because I knew that it would be beneficial to their kiddos or whoever. And then I did the same in my therapy program. So it, it it's nice to have somebody that's going to donate nice things because it helps the pocketbook. Yeah. Usually people that do that type of work are very giving people, so they yep. just cut into your own paycheck to do it. <laughs> yep. So, I, and I wanted to give as much as I could as the really cool stuff to Gail, because it was really cool stuff, you know? You could just have her come back over and go shopping in your scrap donation <laughs> pile. And, I don't uh, think she's going to want to do that to you, Brittany. No, I don't think she's going to want to do that. No, I will offer because that'll be good for a laugh. Uh, the other thing is that the next time that you go through a purging process, she's going to say nothing. I want nothing. Nothing. <laughs> then I'll just show up with six boxes. Oh. <laughs> uh, what card are we doing now? We're doing our final card. This one with the great big topper and the beautiful lavender paper and this funny little square that I couldn't originally consider. I couldn't originally remember what I, why I put.
put it in there. This funny little square. Picture and picture's frozen again. I think it might stay that way, guys. I can just take it out. <clears throat> yeah, how about we just take it out? Let's just take it out. We'll take it out. No problem, as long as it doesn't kill our sound. Do no, it won't. Okay. All righty, we're going to cover our card with our lavender. How are you guys doing staying up? You doing all right? You guys staying up okay with the construction of our cards? I haven't seen any twos pop up to say, stop it, you're going too fast. So I'm just bopping along here, laughing, doing my thing. So if um, if I ever get ahead, uh, what? thank you, Mary R. You guys got to let me know. Otherwise, I figured there was enough tomfoolery going on here that everybody should be. Oh, good. Betty's <laughs> and Daria, everybody's caught up. Excellent. Butterfly blush. I have it on order, Ruthanne. And they have a beautiful new fall set that's coming out. I have it on order, too. And Brittany is listing six boxes. Or, uh, no, Ashley is listing. Uh, Ashley's learning to list. So Ashley is listing Hunky Dory. They are in Amazon, so they'll be all right tomorrow. Ooh, for those of you who want to jump in and see what's new before the general public does, Brittany says some of it will get pushed to um to our website store tomorrow okay let's see what we're going to do with this little corner i want my corners to be a half inch square so i'm going to take this little piece of paper here and i'm going to cut this to be in two one by one squares so I'm taking a little off that side. I want a one by one square. So I'm going to cut that right in half. I'm going to check this one. That is pretty darn close, but I'm going to trim it just a tad. Now I have two. That was so close. I didn't cut all the way through the paper. Okay. I have two one by one squares. Now I want you to cut this. Just take your scissors for this one. Line up the two corners and cut them in half. So on the diagonal. So you end up with pretty holographic corners for our lavender cardstock. If you're wondering where these holographic corners came from, didn't these come out of this, the side-to-side -side hologra foiled holographic paper pack? Yes, they did. We still have a few of those left. It is absolutely yummy foiled paper, foiled snowflakes. Now, you can either put these down. I put on my sample card, I put them on foam squares. I think on this one, I'm going to glue them flush. I'm not sure that I love them up on foam squares. I think they could go either way, though. It does add a little extra dimension, but it also leaves them a little bit more subject to the corners getting bumped. So I think I'm going to put these down flush on my card. So I'm going to put a little glue on here and I'm going to glue these down to my corners. Oh, my glue bottle is behaving so well now. It's like whatever was the matter with it has passed through and given up being naughty. So I'm so glad about that. It doesn't look like I'm going to have to empty it and clean it. It is actually behaving very nicely if I'll keep the cap on now. <laughs> Very pretty. These little foiled squares, it's like we're taking this simple piece of adorable scoreable and dressing it up to look really beautiful. 
with just these little foil squares. One inch squares cut diagonally. Pretty, pretty. Yeah, they must have. They must have, Ruth Ann. I think you're right. It's a really pretty fall package they have coming out. I also have the fall collection, the sunflower collection from Heartfelt Creations on the way. And they're beautiful. Beautiful. So we have some really neat fall things coming. Neat fall things. Last year we did those pumpkins, the pumpkin vine. You remember that? That was sure fun. I still have some of those left, but I think I'll wait a year before I bring them back, unless any of you are feeling like you really need to do them. We also if you have the pumpkins in the ottoman Thanksgiving banners. I think we still have some. Oh, well, we might have some. Uh, yeah, Margie reminds me. We might see the uh our, we may have um, some of the autumn and fall banners left so look for those okay so we are ready to put our topper on and we're just going to do the simple treatment i do so often with these toppers we're going to put this outside ring up on foam squares we're going to take the little tiny ring that's in the middle of the two toppers and we're going to glue that flesh down and we're going to take the inside topper and put it on foam squares because it's really pretty and dimensional and I like it and it's fast and easy. So why not? Huh? Why not do it? Let's do it. You know, when you look at how beautiful that is, and you look at like this little scrap right here, these pretty snowflakes, you could take some of your leftover adorable scorable when you get done. You could take one of the eight by eight pages. You could very easily make your own like photo corners and stuff to match some of those out of mm -hmm. just these very little pieces. You know, when you think about the ribbon photo corners and you think about the little, you know, um, triangle, you know, half of a one inch piece, there's actually some really clever things you can do with just those little tiny scraps that really, that really look great. That was a good thing to mention, Margie. I'm glad you remembered to mention the banners. I just happened to yeah, we have a few of those them. left. I don't think we have any of the pumpkin vine kits left so in the store. And I don't intend to do that as a class again, but if any of you are just dying to have them, if I have enough requests, we might make some kits for you. We'll see. I mean, we do have a lot of new stuff coming up too. So probably next year we'll do the pumpkin vines again though, because that was a really, really fun class. And I still have a lot of the paper. Those were beautiful. I had a great time doing that. Each time I did it, <laughs> I had a great time doing it originally. And then in class, it was fun. Lots of they filled their entire homesteaders that planted entire fields of sunflowers this year. Oh, in their state, it was spectacular. Huh. Sorry, you said she'd like the pumpkins if we make them. Okay, if there's others of you that have interest, let me know. If I get enough requests, we'll we'll contemplate doing a. Oh. Uh, yeah, we'll contemplate doing a, an additional kit and um, just release a video rewind. 
let me know. It'll take some time to make them, so I'll have to have enough requests to make it worth it. But if there's enough of you interested, we'll do it. As we know from our YouTube videos and why we're having a party, a lot of people have joined us over the last year. That is true. The pumpkin class. So it's there's lots of neat things to be able to look at what we did last year. And for some, that will be the first time that they will have seen it. Thank you, Ruthann. That's a nice compliment. That's a very nice compliment, Ruthann. Okay, let's see. Let's look. And see. What we have left here, we're going to put in our center border. Oops, I started to do this backwards. We don't do that anymore. Remember, we want to glue into the space. I believe all of this stopped working. There we go. When I, I got overconfident, didn't I? We want to glue into the space rather than on the bottom of the piece we're putting in because then we don't get glue all over the place as we put it in. Ruthann has a specific class kit idea in mind. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I... How about a damn it doll class for my desk at work? I don't know what that is. Talk, talk to me about what that is and all. <laughs> I don't know what that is. It sounds interesting, Something though. Something you could beat up? <laughs> I haven't seen one. Maybe Refer it's me nice somewhere. and fluffy and cute and you get to throw it against the wall. <laughs> <laughs> well, that would frighten children, wouldn't it? <laughs> I will tell you, I used to, I used to be in human resources. I think I've told you that before. And I had this pretty little ceramic jar that sat on my desk. It was in our bank colors. Uh, yeah, that's exactly. It was in our bank colors. And it just was pretty. And people would... <laughs> People would always comment on the pretty jar, you know, that I had sitting on my desk. Very few people I let see the back of it because on the back of it, it said ashes of problem employees. <laughs> but you can only see it from my side of the desk. <laughs> It's illegal, not because you wouldn't do it. <laughs> okay, put some palm squares on this piece that's going in the middle. I like the premise. <laughs> Zarya wants to know if you can throw it at the person that's irritating them. Uh, you should be able to look it up. Okay. A damn it doll, huh? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'd be afraid my aim would be accurate. <laughs> Oh, you guys are too funny. Too funny, you are. Okay. Now. Okay. <clears throat> 
I'm going to add a couple of snowflakes here. Not that big one, though. I thought maybe I could get away with it, but it's not going to happen. I want to show you what I did on my sample card. We did not cut them for this kit, but I do want to show you what I did on my sample. Oh, I actually have one in there. Do I have any more of those? No. Okay. I'm going to take like three little snowflakes here. On my sample, I used a piece of leftover adorable scorable and I cut my snowflakes in purple. This time, I'm going to use some snowflakes cut out of rainbow, Mary. And again, I'm sure most of you have snowflake dies. If you don't, I know where you can get one. Or two. Or two. Or maybe seven. Yeah, <laughs> 17. Yeah. I know where they have a lot of beautiful snowflake dies. Uh, Roberta says that she just threw some seed and corn cob and they just took off. She's got sunflowers and Indian corn growing hmm. out front. I believe is what I saw. We have corn growing in our planters. <laughs> we put out um, the corn for the for the um, squirrels. They eat their fill and they plant the seeds in our flower pots. We have a we have a corn stalk on our porch or on our deck right outside the classroom here. That's about ten or twelve feet tall. 10 feet tall, maybe. And it's sprouting a ear of corn on it. And we have one in our planter in the front of our house, right where you want it, you know, in our beautiful landscaped area out there where the squirrels have planted another one. And we didn't have the heart to take it out of there out of their area so it too has sprouted a corn cob i don't know if they'll develop into anything but yes the squirrels are making sure they're you know they're taking care of their needs for tomorrow by planting and sowing their seed okay here's our last one. Oh, i missed something she said, isn't it amazing, or Roseanne says, isn't it amazing what just tossing can achieve, Roberta? But if you plan and work and babysit, nothing grows. <laughs> well, catch, that is the truth. <laughs> the catch to that, Roseanne, is, is you just forgot to throw your doll at it. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, we let our squirrels do our our grocery planting what i loved is that lauren went around and consolidated them into pots and she worked so hard to get them all together so that maybe something would sprout it was sweet okay here we go i don't like my placement of that i'm gonna move it a little bit there we go all right Here's our final card. This time, holographic snowflakes. Last time, purple snowflakes. It needs stickles badly. It definitely does, because look how much more sparkly my purple is than its trees. Your hubby's coming out because it's 6 p.m. Okay, we have just finished those. I will go through and stickle them all later because you guys have already seen me stickle enough in this class that we know what we're doing with that process now i promised to show you something that you had not seen before that's coming up and i will do that right after i show you what we're doing on saturday which is 
our polar bears. We have one more sparkling season set left. Polar bears. <laughs> it really needs it, Ruthann. It really needs it. I know there is some in the garage that we just cleaned out. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> Here's our polar bears for Saturday. So be sure you tune in on Saturday. Get your kits for the polar bears. They are so sweet. They are so cute. Oh, I just love them. I just love them. I love them. You are going to love them so much when you get all your stickles on them, Daria. Don't forget to stickle them, guys, because they really, really want that. And there's our polar bears. Okay. Here's the thing I told you that we found that I didn't tell you about yet. Look what Margie found in a box today. These will be up soon. This one. Look at this one. And this one. These also are manufactured in 2003. These are done by the PSX. These are personal stamp exchange designs. They are no longer available. Most are no longer available anywhere. I will add them once we get them into the system. I will add them to your discount opportunity for this week. Don't wait too long. Some of them are in very limited quantities. I have quite a few of others, but some are in very limited quantities. Speaking Give me of sunflowers. Yes. Speaking of sunflowers, looky there. Ooh, beautiful stickers. They are stickers. And look at this one. Annette, they're not up yet. We just found them and I've been packaging them well while Debbie's been doing the class. So it'll take just a little bit to get them on. Are those gorgeous or what? So they're coming and I'm going to add them to your discount area. I'm also putting them out on eBay and Etsy. So if you are loving them, be sure you get these from the store though, because you, they will be substantially more substantially more on eBay and Etsy than they will be on our store because of course I have to. <laughs> um, because I have to pay, I have to assume that they're only buying the one and I have to pay shipping. So they're going to be substantially more on those channels, but in our store, they will be discounted. So grab them while they last. I think they're gorgeous, beautiful, beautiful. We may find more. I do not have any personal exchange um, stamp exchange stamps that we ran across, but um, not to say that we might not find something in a box somewhere. I will keep looking. I have a few in my personal collection, but not none in uh, in quantity. So I guess that's it for today. I feel like I need to look down there. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um, <laughs> it's okay. Here Marty. you go. It's I okay. Can do it. All right. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So anyway, that's what we have for you for today. Do you guys have any questions, comments, or pearls of wisdom for the group before we sign off? you guys have thank you very much it was a fun class to do if you um haven't done so yet please smash that like button thumbs up make sure you smash it only once so the thumbs up stays 
And if you hit, happen by chance to hit the negative, you know, the thumbs down on accident, smash it again. That'll go away. <laughs> Any chance of including cut instructions with the kits? So you're saying like the layout instructions, Ruthann? Especially when you're using every last inch of cardstock. Yes, we do use every last inch of cardstock. Um, I guess my answer to that would be that's what the videos are for. So since we already have the videos out there, I probably will not take time to do layout diagrams. Okay. Uh, Hi, thank Muriel. you, Muriel. I'm not sure I knew you were out there today. No. So glad to see you. <laughs> yes, that happens. And check it and see if it was you that accidentally hit the thumbs down. If you hit the thumbs down, hit it again, that'll go away. And then you can hit the right one. <laughs> but I do love and appreciate the fact that you guys are out here with me, spending your evenings, crafting together, having fun and a good laugh. I always have fun when I'm with you and I am going to look forward to seeing you on Saturday. So for now, let me just say good night, Gracie.